This is an almost flagship device with a very low price, which comes with Google Play services and one of the nicest designs you will ever see on any phone. This is the Huawei Nova 5T. Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Cyber Reviews and this is the unboxing and first impressions of the Huawei Nova 5T coming up next. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. When you open this, you get a phone, a fast charging adapter, a warranty card, manual, SIM tray ejector kit, 22.5 watts fast charging adapter, USB Type-C cable, and a pair of earphones, USB earphones. It also comes pre-installed with a screen protector and a clear plastic case to protect the phone from fingerprints. So with the unboxing experience out of the way, let us talk about the reason why you are here, the phone. Before we do though, if you are new to my channel, I do mobile phone, app and gadget reviews to help you make an informed decision whenever you are making a purchase. So if you like that kind of content, please subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss the next episode. Now let's talk about price. This phone comes in two different RAM variants which will determine how much you are going to get it for. This review unit you can get for $419 and it comes with an unbelievable 8GB of RAM. The Huawei Nova 5T has many features in common with the flagship Huawei P30 Pro released in 2019. So let's take a closer look. I am a designer. I love art. I really do, especially abstract art. So when I see a device which looks so beautiful, I tend to get very excited. For me, beauty is one of the things I look out for when selecting a smartphone. The Huawei Nova 5T has a beautiful design at the back which catches the light and reflects some beautiful gradient colors depending on the angle of the light, like it's crazy. Let me know in the comments what you look out for when considering what kind of phones to buy. The body of the Huawei Nova 5T is made of glass in front and glass at the back with an aluminum frame. On the front, it has a hole punch cutout display with the camera in the top left hand corner of the screen. Speaking of the screen though, it comes with a 6.26 inches IPS LCD display which is very vibrant being a 1080p display. Though it would be sweeter if it was an OLED display. but LCD displays also have their advantages in that they don't suffer from OLED display burning. So if you watch my last Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus review I did, you notice that the screen has shifted from the original what it was. You know, the colors are no longer as vibrant because of OLED burning. So I'll leave a link in the description so that you can check it out to see what OLED burning looks like. Now the back of the phone, apart from being super gorgeous to look at, also houses a quad camera system and a flash, but more on that later. Now though the back is made of glass, it doesn't have wireless charging and can tend to catch a lot of fingerprints, so do put the included case on it. The bottom of the phone houses a single bottom firing speaker and I'm going to test it in detail and let you know what I think. But speaking of speaker, this phone does not come with a 3.5mm earphone jack. <sighs> but the pair of earphones it comes with use the USB charging port. So at least it's a plus that it comes with really good earphones as well. On the right side of the phone are the power and volume buttons. The power button also doubles as the fingerprint sensor, which is a very neat and minimalistic design. On the top of the device, you have an infrared blaster, the speaker for calls, a proximity sensor, and a microphone. The left hand side of the device is where you have the SIM tray port. This device is capable of using two SIMs at once, but it doesn't come with expandable storage option. Now let's dive deeper and look at the performance of the Huawei Nova 5T. It will interest you to know that the Huawei Nova 5T uses the same powerful processor as the Huawei P30 Pro. That is the Kirin 980 chipset, which has high benchmark scores. This means that opening apps and performing everyday tasks is super fast. In fact, that is the very first thing I noticed when I started using the phone. This thing is so responsive, very, very fast. For the price, I think that it is a fantastic choice Huawei made in bringing the same flagship processor on what is, in my opinion, one of the very best smartphones released in 2019 to the Nova 5T. 
In terms of battery capacity, the Huawei Nova 5T comes with a 3750 mAh battery capacity and with a 22.5 watts fast charger which charges from 0 to 50% in 30 minutes. I am going to do a more detailed review after I've used it for a while and let you know how long the battery actually lasts on a day-to-day -day basis. Now in trying to make this almost flagship device as affordable as possible, Huawei definitely needed to make some compromises or what you can call sacrifices. And one of such sacrifices is that this device does not come with expandable storage. Apart from that, it only has one storage option which is 128 gigs. That is not bad though because when I transferred all my apps, games and music from my old phone to this one, I had used up less than 30 gigabytes of the 128 gigs of storage. It is amazing how many phones nowadays come with more RAM than the laptops and desktops we use. You can buy this device with either 6 gigs or 8 gigs of RAM. And the one I have here is 8 gigabytes of RAM, which further makes the device even more smooth and fast to use. Like I already mentioned, this phone has a fingerprint sensor embedded in the power button. So naturally when the screen is off and you pick it up to unlock the device, you will end up pressing the power button to turn on. The fingerprint unlock is so quick it makes it a pure joy just to lock and unlock your device. This device runs Android so you do not have to worry about the Huawei ban affecting it. It comes with Android 9 and the full suite of Google Play services. Also, it is upgradable to Android 10 and has EMUI version 9.1 running on it. Nowadays, many manufacturers and even consumers tend to place a lot of emphasis on the cameras of smartphones. So let's talk about the cameras on this device. On the back of this device, we have the quad camera setup, 48 megapixel main wide camera, a 16 megapixel ultra wide camera, 2 megapixel macro and a 2 megapixel depth sensing lens. On the front, we have a selfie camera, which is a 32 megapixel wide angle lens, which can record video in 1080p up to 30 frames per second. Now, I'm going to do a more detailed camera review and let me know in the comments which phone camera you would like me to compare it with. Now, when I started this review, I mentioned that Huawei needed to make some compromises in order to cut down the cost and make it so affordable. So, you will not get an IP68 water resistance rating, neither are you going to get wireless charging or expandable storage. But for the price, it is not something which bothers me too much. So in conclusion, the Huawei Nova 5T is an excellent offering if you are looking to purchase a new phone or upgrade from your old device and don't want to sell your kidneys to buy one. Let me know in the comments what phone you use and what you think about the Huawei Nova 5T. Thanks, Vibrating.